Hi, I'm Larry Schwager, and I'm president and CEO of the National Wildlife Federation. And we're out here about 12 miles off uh, shore from the mouth of the Mississippi River uh, in the Gulf of Mexico near the big uh, BP spill. Uh, we are um, looking at the, at the front edge of the spill. And what we, what we see is um, the oil spill has been sprayed with uh, dispersant agents uh, which have caused the oil itself to go uh, deep into the water. So instead of sitting on top of the surface, uh, the bulk of the oil is underwater and has uh, probably fully occupied the water column. And uh, these, these tiny uh, molecules of oil uh, have now, uh, through, the, uh, through the action of, a, of the chemical that's been sprayed here, have uh, intermingled with water, something that oil doesn't normally like to do. But these dispersal agents have made oil uh, able to, uh, to, to mix up uh, into the water. In the past, oil spills have been uh, these big black sheens of oil floating on the water. And these sheens of oil would uh, migrate towards the coastlines and would penetrate wetlands and sand beaches and do a lot of uh, coastal damage. Today, uh, BP is undertaking a mass experiment. They've, they've sprayed uh, chemicals that disperse the oil into the water column. They've collected about a third of the total disper dispersant agents on the planet and have put them right here in the Gulf of Mexico with the oil that we are dealing with. So we are dealing with two separate chemicals now uniting and, and entering into the water column. And uh, that, that uh, pollution is uh, here for a long time. Uh, and I, I think uh, as I look at the, the damage that was done to the Prince William Sound, uh, 20 years later, still we have uh, a tremendous uh, impact on the fishery. Two-thirds of the fish that were originally affected by the spill are still not in full recovery 20 years later. So we don't know yet what happens here, but we know it's not good. It's not going to be good for a long time.